Hi everybody, thank you so much for clicking on my video here today. My name is Amber and God bless you all again for clicking on my video. This is honestly uh, my first time on YouTube. I love watching people's hygiene, perfumes, declutters, empties, and I thought it'd be really fun to give it a try myself. So again, first video. I'm still learning the ropes, trying to find my groove. So if you have any thoughts, suggestions, comments, please leave it down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. But my first video, I thought, let's start out fun and start with the declutter. So I have a few fragrances here that I'm going to be decluttering. Some of them are body mist. I think I have one uh, Bath and Body Works uh, moisturizer that I'm looking to declutter as well. And I want to first preface this before I get into the fragrances that I'm decluttering. I am by no means saying that this, these are bad fragrances. A lot of them I've repurchased. I have duplicates of. So just as a heads up. Also, I love to hear what you guys have to say with what I'm decluttering. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you disagree with how I feel? So again, leave those comments below. So let's get things started. The first perfume that I am going to be looking to declutter is my Abbott Papaya Isla. I got this a few months ago, and I thought that this would be a very papaya, fruity type of fragrance. And it kind of smells like that on first sniff, but it really dries down green. And I like green perfumes, but this is just not for me. Again, it's nice. I love a bot that it is a clean fragrance line, but it's just, it's not something that I'm going to wear. Somebody else will probably find, find it, find it great. It's just not for me. The next perfume that I am looking to get rid of is by Giorgio Armani called C. I have had this, honestly, you guys, you're going to totally judge me hardcore. And you know what? I probably deserve it. This is probably the third time that I bought this perfume because it gets raved about all the time. And I want to understand the hype. And I just don't. I don't. Maybe it's a patchouli note that I don't like in this one. I normally like patchouli though. It's just not for me. So I honestly have not worn this. I've had this for two years. I repurchased this. Like again, this is like my third time. It's just not for me. So find a better home. The next fragrance that I have is Be Enchanted. It's by Bath and Body Works. I actually got this from Mercari. I love the smell. I do. And I don't know why I'm getting rid of this, but I have so many fragrances. I have probably about 180 even after this declutter, and I have about 80 body mists. It needs to go. I have two of the two uh, Be Enchanted body mists. I don't really reach for the perfumes over the body mist for some reason because I can just really go ham on them. And I thought somebody else would really enjoy this because this, this was a great one back in the day. But it's just super fruity. Love the pomegranate note. Pomegranate is one of my favorite notes of all time. I'm crazy probably for getting rid of it. The next one that I got is Marc Jacobs Perfect. This is the EDT version. I've had this, I probably ordered it as soon as it came out from Ulta, and I really wanted to love this, and it is good. Do not get me wrong. Good perfume. I feel like I'm re-sniffing everything. I just love smells. <laughs> but it is more of like the aquatic version of Perfect, and it, it's good. I like it. I just never gravitate towards it, but... Come on, like the packaging is just so stinking cute. And I am such a freaking sucker for packaging. And that's how they get me half over half of the time. But this will find but more, somebody else will love this more. It'll find a better home. So getting rid of that one. The next one that I am looking to get rid of, it's a little bit more of an expensive one. And I I think I just wanted to have an armoire per perfume just for the sake of saying that I had one. And I saw this on FragranceNet. The notes looked good, but I put it on. I'm like, this isn't really that good. So this one is armoire Reflection, and it literally has a reflection here, and you cannot really see it, right? But I wore it once. 
didn't really like it and said, mm, nope, going in the giveaway pile. So I'm getting rid of that. The next perfume, again, guys, the packaging kills me. It's so freaking cute. But this is none other than Carolina Herrera, very good girl. This is a very nice perfume. It is rosy. It's fruity. It's really nice. I'm just not a rose fruit girl. I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with me and why I bought this. If I don't like rose or really florals, why did I get this? Because I'm an idiot. So that will go to a better home. This next one, and I feel like I keep saying this next one. I'm so sorry. I need a better transition. I have Victoria's Secret bombshell aisle. I thought, I smelled this in the store and I'm like, oh, it's nothing great. And then I saw it, it was on sale online. It was like 50% off. And I thought, I'll give it a try. It is a sunscreeny smell. It's like your typical beach sunscreeny smell. I have multiples of those. I'm not a huge fan of that. So I'm trying to really declutter that scent profile from my collection. So I thought this one would be a decent one to get rid of. And I, and I won't miss it. And I also have Rise by Beyonce. Oh, you can see my eyes. Hi, guys. <laughs> This one, I got it because it, I, Fragrant, Fragrantica said that it smells like, oh my goodness, what is it called? Uh, YSL Manif Manifesto. Loved YSL Manifesto. And it really does. It honestly does. But I have that perfume. And I don't understand this packaging. Like, th this packaging, like, what is this? French fries? Like, I don't, I don't understand. So it's it's not a must have. It's nice, but I already have one that's very similar to this. So it, this is just taking up space. I don't need it. And I have another Marc Jacobs perfume, and this is Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Paradise. Again, it's more of that sunscreeny, coconutty, no uh, scent profile. I wore it. Just time to get get rid of it. Nothing wrong with it, though. And I have one more Marc Jacobs. I promise, I love Marc Jacobs. I love Marc Jacobs Daisy. I love the original Love. I, oh my goodness, I also love, love, love the, what was it, the, the purple one? The Twilight one, was it? Um, So freaking good. But my last Marc Jacobs is Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream. I just never reach for this. Again, this is the third time that I purchased it. I think it's because it's like an easy grab. It smells good. But it's just, I just never grab for it. But the packaging is so freaking cute. Like, look at that. Again, sucker for packaging here. Now I have two more perfumes before I get into the Bath and Body Works fragrance mists. I have Prada Candy Night. Never, I, I have a lot of chocolate fragrances. I love chocolate scents. This isn't typically one that I grab for. So this is extremely full. Like it is literally to the brim. Good fragrance. I just have others that I would gravitate towards before I grab this one. And then my last perfume is Alien and it's the Goddess uh, Intense. But it's good. It, it smells just like... The original and I just figured I don't need both of them. This one's good, but I'll just keep the original. And now let's get into the Bath and Body Works here. I have about nine perfumes, or not perfumes, excuse me, body mist that I'm getting rid of and one lotion. So let's first go over the lotion. Um, I had pumpkin pecan waffles. This was last year's packaging. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. And I'm so disappointed that I need to get rid of this. But over the summer, I was using another one of the their moisturizers. And I broke out in a major rash all over my arms. It was so itchy. It is not I have very sensitive skin. So I needed to I needed declutter. So I'm a little bummed out. I think I used this maybe like once. So it's really full, but 
love the scent. I just can't use their moisturizers anymore. Next, I have Bright Christmas Morning. Really thought I'd love this. I hate it. Like, I hate it, okay? Might be a good, it would be a good room fragrance mist, or fragrance mist, oh my goodness, room spray, but I don't want to smell like it. It's not bad, it's just, I don't need this. Next, I have Sun Ripen Raspberry. This is their older packaging. For some reason, I don't understand what is the hype with this scent. Like, it just smells like bathroom to me. And I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but it smells like bathroom. I'm sorry if I offended anybody, but it smells like bathroom to me. So that has to go. Um, I also have Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I have a backup of this. I just didn't need it. I just didn't need two of them. So this is getting rid of this. I'm good with it. Next, I have Watermelon Mojito. This isn't my favorite watermelon scent. I liked their new one that they came out with, or maybe it was a repackage. I think it was Pink Watermelon. I preferred that. I have a Body Ecology one that I like more. Like, it smells good. It's refreshing, but it, I didn't need it in my collection. It was just taking up space. I am also getting rid of my Blackberry and Basil. I love this. I just don't gravitate towards this. I have, I do have uh, others, so I'm just getting rid of a backup. I just don't it very much, but I really like it. I like that it's very subtle. It's fresh. It's it's easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. But I don't need it. I am also getting rid of sun blooms and suede. Don't really like this one. I just I'm not gonna wear this one. I just don't need it. I am also going to get rid of Lakeside Citrus. I love this on Cold Sniff. So freaking good. But I wore it recently, and I was so underwhelmed, and it was really sad. So I decided I don't need a backup. I'm going to keep one of them, but I'm getting rid of one of them. And we are down to my last two. The second to last one is the Hello Beautiful. I just never wear it. It's nice. But I'm not a super, like, floral person, so it can go. And the last one that I'm getting rid of is Wild Sand. I loved this on birth myth. And then I wore it, and it made me feel sick. So, it needs to go. But those are pretty much all of the fragrances that I'm going to be getting rid of here. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Do you think that I'm crazy? Do, do you agree with me? So please let me know down below in the comments. And um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for clicking on my video, clicking on this video. And I hope you have a great rest of the day or a great day, whatever time of day it is. And I hope to see you guys again in my next video.